Here at the Savashinami Territory of New Zealand, Fiji, Tonga and Samoa, we're always striving to further our mission of caring for people, transforming lives and reforming society. Let's take a look at what's been happening around the Territory. Together we have a lot to celebrate. In February we launched the Good Shop to combat mobile traders and truck shops that travel around poor areas of cities and target people who are struggling. Operating first in South Auckland, the Good Shop vans will be selling items from the Warehouse Group as well as food from Countdown and will be staffed by a customer care worker and a community loan worker. Our Roskill South youth team have gone into partnership with Oranga Tamariki, Ministry for Children, to deliver supported living for young people in Auckland, transitioning from state care to independent living. Senior flatmates provide safe, supportive living, helping them to develop the skills necessary to flourish in independent living arrangements. This year was the 10th Warehouse Stationery Back to School Appeal. The generosity shown helped raise a record-breaking $83,000 to help Kiwi families struggling with back to school costs. We also celebrated our 10th annual Amplify Creative Arts Camp for young people in January and the one year anniversary of the Salvation Army arriving in Samoa in February. In January, we opened a new core plant in the fastest growing area of Fiji, Nasuri. This means that the Salvation Army in Fiji now has 14 core, four core outposts and a core plant. We do searches for anyone who has a family member missing. We have a service that searches throughout the world. Children are trying to find their parents, parents are trying to find their children. And we start the search for the missing person. And sometimes that can take days, hours at times, and sometimes it can take years. So we have what are called pre-searches and we probably have around 300 of those a year and they don't actually make official search status because we don't have a birth date, we don't have a name and we're just looking for that information. But we have about 150 applications a year for missing people and we have a great success rate, it's about 85%. A lot of people are afraid, they've been rejected, they're fearful of the reactions they're going to get and so I, the best part of my job is not just tracing and reconciling but it's actually allowing people to talk through and tell me their stories and tell me why they're separated or why their, their missing person is missing and often I get the opportunity for them just to um, you know, talk about their experiences and, and try and bring some resolution and that's the best part of my job, I love it. Our criteria for searching at Family Tracing is the person needs to be over 18 years of age who is searching and also who we're searching for. We don't search for children. We don't do partner searches, but we do search for any other family member. Daily we deal with people who are broken hearted, rejected, they've come from terrible situations and we are able to minister to them and bring the reconciliation of the Lord Jesus Christ into their lives. The Salvation Army in New Zealand, Fiji, Tonga and Samoa has achieved a lot over the last quarter with the help of individuals and groups committed to living like Jesus and doing mission together. Thanks for all you do to make a difference for the kingdom where you live and serve. We're excited to be joining together across the territory for Congress in October with our international leaders, General Brian Peddle and Commissioner Rosalie Peddle. Make sure you position yourself to be part of it. Over the next month, how could you make a difference in your setting and around the world for God's kingdom? Pray for the family tracing team and the life-changing work they're a part of. And pray for the transformational work that our army is involved in locally and around the world.